Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to bring you some unusual accessories for the Nintendo Switch. Now we all know about the useful accessories you get such as the Pro Controller, nice stands, you've got your Magic NS adapters, your Switch cases, you can fit your 3DS up there as well, headphones etc. But what you might not be aware is there's loads of accessories out there. So what I've done is I've gone onto Amazon and I've bought up some of the more perhaps unusual ones. Now I'm not saying these are good accessories, you can make up your own mind about them when you see them in the video. But still, some of them are interesting. So let's get started. So here we have some little tennis rackets that your Joy-Cons fit into. And then, you might prefer to play Mario Tennis Asus like this. So let's do a bit of gameplay. So here we have Mario Tennis Asus playing with the tennis rackets. I'm serving. Whoa! Ah, oh, look at that. You see, it's all in the tennis racket. So it does actually make the game, in my opinion, more playable using these rather than just holding the actual Joy-Con itself. Right, let's move on to the next one. Right, so this one here is little grips that you put on your triggers. So if you see here, it says improve grip for your gaming control triggers. Now, personally, I don't have an issue with my fingers slipping off the buttons, but obviously this company thinks that people may have an issue. So there's a couple here for the grey Joy-Cons, obviously the neon Joy-Cons, and this is for the Pro Controller. So let's fit these and see what they're like. Little sticker. And it just tells you here how to fit them. And it's got a tiny little ZL if you look at that. So you still know which button it is. So this one's going to have a little ZR I presume. And that's got a little ZR. Right, let's do the other ones and then see what they feel like. There we go, that's them uh, on there, and they actually follow the curve of the Joy-Con quite well, they're quite sticky, I thought that they would just peel straight off, but you can peel them off by doing that, and they don't appear to leave any residue behind, which is good, because then if you don't like them you can peel them off again, but they are very sticky, and, you know, they feel okay, you do, you know, I don't think they're necessary, but still they are, they are definitely grippy, which is what they advertise themselves as doing, and they are grippy, so, uh, Feel there, yeah. On these ones, they've got little ZR and ZL as well. If you look closely, you can just see there in the corner. You can definitely feel the difference. So, personally, I don't think they're necessary, but you know what? On a game like Fortnite, it might be quite nice when you're constantly on the triggers shooting. Maybe it'd be okay. And if you're wondering what it looks like from the top, they do actually blend in quite well. They look quite professional when they're on there. So there you go, that is the Trigger Treads. Nice and easy to fit and very cheap as well. So let's move on. So here we have the Switch Multifunctional Charging Storing Stand. So the idea is that you could just plug in all your spare Joy-Cons and your Pro Controller and stuff and it will charge them all at once. So let's set this thing up. Right, so here it is here. And what I'm going to do is just to reduce the chance of bricking, obviously this is not a Nintendo product, I'm going to use the actual AC power supply that comes with the switch itself. So let's plug that into the USB-C port at the back. And let's plug them in. Alright, that doesn't appear to be charging. Plug it in the uh, Joy-Cons. I mean, it has got icons down here, so I presume that they're supposed to light up when it's charging. Oh, 
No. Right, there's nothing happening there. And on the front cover, it does show that there is uh, lights on here. Mind you, on the front cover, it's not even showing that it is charging, which is uh, a little bit worrying. Right, OK, uh, let's try. They do give you a little charging cable. Let's try plugging this just into a normal USB, see if that will help. Right, so I'm just going to plug in the lead that they supplied. Oh, OK, we've got lights. We have got lights now on those two which I presume, yet yeah, they're the Joy-Cons, so it does look like the Joy-Cons are charging, because when we plug them in it goes to red, but we still haven't got anything on the switch itself. Oh yet yeah, now it's charging. And there we go, you can see it's gone to red there. Well, it's very sensitive though, it doesn't, uh, so it's not charging right now. Also, it feels it feels like a bad fit. So there you go. It's a nice idea, but unfortunately, this particular one here doesn't really seem to be working like it should do. So here we have a sunshade for the switch. So this is quite unusual. This one here now. I haven't seen this anywhere before. So I presume this is going to look a bit ridiculous, but you never know. If you live in a nice sunny country, it might come in useful. So we're just going to plug that one into there and put this band around here. <laughs> All right, OK. Well, luckily in the UK right now, it is really sunny and warm. So let's bring this outside and see what it actually looks like in the blazing sun. So we'll do a quick comparison with it on and off to see if it does make it better. Look at that. Okay, so I've just found a bit of a sunny patch of the garden. This garden's quite shaded anyway, but this bit is in the sun. And if you have a look, it does actually work, which I suppose it is going to. You can see there at the bottom bit there, you can see all the glare in this little bottom section. But the rest of it is actually quite playable. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to actually take this off and do a comparison between them. Well, right, okay, so I've taken the uh, sunshade off now. And as you can see, you can't actually see it at all. I mean, it is particularly sunny today, but all I've got is a complete and utter reflection. So to be fair to it, it does do its job, and it, uh, it actually feels okay quality. The problem is, like you can see there's a little magnet and stuff here, that makes it snap shut. The problem is, when I was taking it off, okay, I wasn't that careful, but can you see I've already broken this bit here. So if you do get yourself one of these, just be a bit careful when you're using it, because uh, that was actually the first time I've used it, and I've managed to break it that quickly. So I don't know whether I was just a little bit rough or whether the quality isn't really there. Which is a shame because it actually feels like an okay product. I kind of got this not thinking it was actually going to work very well, sort of joking around. But to be fair, on a sunny day, it does do its job. Right, okay, let's move on.